Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. Check one, two, check one, two. Can y'all hear me? How does everything look right now? I can't tell. I'm just getting this set up. What up, Russ? How you feeling? Check one, two. Can y'all hear me? What up, BG White? How's the screen look? How's the audio? How are we doing? Looks fine. Okay. It's looking a little blurry on my side. For some reason, I guess that's just the way the preview looks, so I wasn't sure about that. Sounds fine. Okay. Okay. That's a beautiful thing. I don't have anything really pre-prepared at all, so if y'all want to see the app, just uh, you know, let me know how you want me to run through it. I can do a few uh, What up, Jamie? How you feeling? I could do a few um you know, audio test with some vocals. It's a touch blurry. Let me see. What can I do about that? Unless I stop the stream, I don't think I can really do anything about it. Is it is it is it really bad? Will you be able to see the the different let me let me pull the app up while I'm asking. Hold on real quick. Let's we got let's see. Audio units. And mix box, pull that up. And let's add a channel strip. Check one, two. Are y'all able to see this? We've got the EQ 81. The volume could be louder. Okay. How do we raise the volume? Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. Is that better? Give us some West Coast groove rapping. <laughs> Definitely on another stream. Definitely on another stream. I've been straight getting ready for the news mode right now. So I do not even have uh, any flows for y'all. But I did want to open up the app because I know it's got this introductory sale. And before I get into the news, I could at least open it up and we could check out some presets together on the vocal and maybe drag some MIDI on an instrument or something like that. So here we are. We've got let's pull up a whole vocal rack. Because another thing I think is really sound, sounds great, better. OK, OK. All right. Looks like it sounds good to all of y'all. What I really like about this app is not just the racks. The racks are great, but you get all these presets. I think the, the description said you're getting over 600 presets, which is just crazy to me. 600 presets, that in itself really can help with your mixes and things like that, especially if you're on the run and trying to hurry up. So let me, let me, t let me fix this real quick. Let me turn off the studio compressor studio key in the compressor and we'll just run through some vocal presets real quick and see what they do to the vocal check one two whoa <laughs> that's crazy i wasn't ready for that there's the 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 90s rap verse preset this here is this here is 1984 so this is crazy. Like the latency isn't bad either. Let me adjust this to the input on my interface real quick, just so I can see if the latency is is recordable. Check, check, check. Okay, it looks like there's some slight latency, but I could probably adjust the buffer. It's not bad though for all these effects. That's that's pretty crazy. All right, uh, ad libs. Check, check, check. Yep. That's a, that's a, that's a, like, it's like a tight room. Cassette wrap. Cassette. Check, check, check one, two, check one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we're back on ad libs. I gotta go down. 
course Vox. Dirty and no fi dirty and no fi All right. Check, check, check. Edgy vocal. Male pop. Check, check, check. One. I mean, these presets are crazy. And on these, we have... Let me move the list real quick. We've got... I just changed something. I don't know what it changed. All right. So this is utilizing six of the effects here on the male rock. Pop vocal. Okay. Yep. Yep. A lot of air. So this vocal chain is crazy. We're using the Neve EQ81, the Universal Audio LA2A and the White 2A. SSS. See, I would never I would never actually do a chain like this. So it's real interesting to see kind of how they would go about doing that chain. Let me go back to this pop vocal chain real quick. Sorry if it if it if you register the app, you get a lot more presets. Really? I'm gonna definitely do that. That's crazy. Like, but the the way they even go about the okay, you got the EQ81, the LA2A, British EQ, which is SSL. I just would never take that approach of 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 the two EQs that they took on this chain. But the result is not a bad sounding vocal. Primary room. Check, 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 one, two, check, one, two. And before I go more into the app, I just want to ask y'all a question. How do y'all feel about the $40 price point? I'm really trying to get the feeling from the community on what everyone feels about the price being $40. Is it too much? Is it a great deal? Is it perfect? Or you feel like it's a little cheap? For what you get here is, I think, 600 presets and 70 different rack modules let me know in the live chat i'm gonna I'm a wait for a minute so i can see what some of y'all answers are bj bg white says honestly it's a steal right now now do you think it's a steal at the 40 or or it, it's like regular once they go up to, I guess, another 33% higher than the $40 it's at. Is it is it still a steal at that regular price that it's going to be, or is it only a steal at John Podiker Signature Collection. What is that, Meerkat Music? Says I th Jamie says, I think it's a steal. Difficult for me in lockdown as a full-time muso, though, but I'd rather pay $100 or pounds or euros I'm not sure what that sign is for a superb app, then 10 for something that is okay. Yeah, I agree with you, Jamie. That's my feeling about it. I mean, for years, it, it we were kind of forced into the the very expensive, you know, plus thousand dollar bundles if we really wanted to get access to some of these analog sounds. So at $40, $40 for 70, that's insane. And this thing is like 300 on Mac and we're able to have the and PC and we're able to have the same capability on an iPad. It's not like we have to be running lesser interfaces on an iPad. We're running interfaces that we would use on PCs or Macs a lot of the time anyway. So it seems like a really good deal. Russ says if it's steak or hamburger sound for the price. BJ White says, BG White says, this is still right now 33% off, I believe, but the value is in the eye of the people who utilize it. It is groundbreaking. Yeah, I agree. 
I definitely agree. I think it comes comes down to the type of music you make. Also, if you're mainly doing um, certain genres of music, you're not going to benefit from some of the analogy, you know, kind of sounds, you know, because those mixes are a bit more digital in nature. But if you're working with a lot of natural elements, you know, basses, guitars, things like that, vocals, I think is, is very useful. Your cat music says fair price for what you get. Not all apps can be pocket money prices. We got to get used to desktop prices eventually. Yeah, I agree with you. I think that's one of the things that's really been stopping the, uh, or I want to say stopping because it clearly hasn't stopped, but the the iOS, you know, the fact that we haven't got the ports from Waves, from, I don't think we've got uh, Valhalla yet, some of the UAD, but UAD's got their hardware, you know, tied up in it, but I would think if I'm UAD, I would want to have you already have to buy my interface. Why not make it iPad usable, the Slate Digitals, things like that? It seems like if the money, if they felt the money was on the platform, we might get some of those ports because if they felt the money was there, they'd feel like they're leaving money on the table. But the fact that all these apps have to get sold for a tenth of the price, then the people complain about the prices. It's like, well, is it, and we have to support these customers now, give them technical support. Apple's got to get their cut. Is it even worth doing? Like it's, it's, you know, it's one of those things. Hey, what up echo opera? How you feeling? I see you jumped on it early. Once registered, the extra pre change are part of it. Okay. Okay. Extra preset change are part of it. I'm definitely going to register this app. This thing is, is, is incredible. Um, I wish I had something pre-prepared for y'all so I could really just run through it. I, I apologize in advance for being totally unprepared. This app caught me completely off guard. I'm supposed to be working on the news right now, but I'm just so excited that we have access to these incredible um, lunchbox. I like the 500 effect too. I usually on desktop couldn't stand the 500. It, it always got in the way of the workflow of, of dragging the racks around and things like that. But I think for a platform like iPad, it's perfect because you just set it, you forget it. And it's kind of convoluted going through the regular plug-in chain on a lot of DAWs anyway. Cubases is pretty good about it, but some DAWs don't let you move the plug-in order once you start it up. So it's, it, it's nice to have the lunchbox where everything's modular, flexible, you're going horizontal, like here we're going horizontal with the way we work instead of vertically. And we get a lot more tactile, you know, feel to the plugins. And with the touchscreen, I mean, you can do a lot with it. I haven't really tried it with the touchscreen. I'm doing it now. Yeah, it's comfortable. It's very comfortable. It's almost like the slate rack along with like a slate raven with the touchscreen aspect of it. And it's super high resolution in eight slots is just crazy i did not expect eight slots i thought maybe four would be what they came with but eight is just insane so let's go through these real quick check 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 okay this is vocal course vocal course two vocal layer vocal layer vocal layer check one two check one two I'm definitely hearing, I'm definitely hearing the Neve in this, uh, very, very check, 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 check that sharpness, that sharp is a Neve staple to me. Let me see here. So we've got all the buttons pushed in. That's a 1176 classic there is to slam it. So this is at the ratio of four, eight. Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two. Now it's at 12, check one, two, check one, two. Now it's at 20 and check one, two. Now it's at all, which is on the more extreme end, which is crazy. But yeah, I could see someone yelling into the microphone and it, you know, capturing it without clipping. Fox in the tube. Wow. That's different. So yeah, let's get back here. Check, 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 check. Yeah, looking forward to designing some vocal chains with that. Um, let's see. 
Henry says the price is perfect at $40. Even if it moves to 60, its value is worth more than that price. I agree with you totally. That's uh that's a fact. That's a fact. 70 plugins, you're at about 57 cents as it stands right now per 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 500 effect. And at $60, you're still less than a dollar. I mean, that's that's crazy. Echo Opera says, I hope you make preset racks available for your fan link. <laughs> definitely, definitely. You know what's funny is a lot of the presets, I don't feel like work on my voice. So over time, I kind of end up shaping my own presets. But I don't know how well they would actually translate to a lot of other artists for their workflows. But I'll definitely, um, once I get more into the vocal recording and things like that, as time goes on, I'll, I'll share some of my uh, preset packs for sure. Preset racks. Excuse me. Echo Hopper says, I really love this rack of effects from IK. So surprised by the release. It's about time we have something this robust on iOS. Yeah. I agree totally. I agree totally. Um, this is this is special. It's really special. This really is a game changer. It moves the ball way up the field for iOS. We can finally stand head and shoulders with our desktop counterparts and feel like we can get taken you know, seriously, and this is really credible. And I like that it's not one of these solutions where, yeah, start it on your iPad, but then transfer it to your PC. No, it's 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 meant to be all encompassing, which is really cool. You can do everything start to finish. And so far, this thing looks really efficient. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to, let's see here. Let's mix box. All right, I'm going to disable that real quick. But what I want to do is I want to see how how many it can run and and still play back. But I'm have it do it in the background here. So we've got six. Six is cool. I can I can do it six. So we've got six, and I'm just gonna duplicate. You know what? You know what? That might nope. It's too much. Check check. Check, 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 check. Check, check. Check, 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 check one, check one. Check, check. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. All right. That was close. Definitely want don't want to be doing that on live. All right. So I think I think it seems like it it doesn't like more than one. What I would usually do anyway with something like this is I would run it through a bus and just have all the vocals flowing through that. But I'm going to really stress test this when I get some time. I just don't want to do it on a live and, uh, yeah, end up <laughs> messing up the live, having it clip and go crazy. But Meerkat Music says, as an AU, it's laid out really well. Tried it in Zen Beats. Cubasis 3, Nano Studio 2 works great, and no real scaling problems. Yeah, that's a big deal. A lot of scaling issues with different plugins and different apps. It, it might work perfectly in one, but it gets weird really fast as you go across different apps and the way that they like to show their AUV3s. Let's see. Let's see what it does to something like a piano. Dang, where's the loops when I need them? Um, see if we can just, I do not use the piano on cue bases like that. So y'all got to forgive me. Looks like we got two there. How do I select one? Erase that one. Let's see. As a standalone app, it has a loop. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. So let's go right here. Okay, audio demos. Yeah, you, you just saved the whole live with that one. 
Let's run it through guitar real quick. Let me kill the volume, make sure it's not too bad. So real quick, I had five instances of it running in AUM without a hiccup. Please tell me more Echo Opera is, is that five instances of like five racks, five instances with only one rack. Um, were you doing any, how do I say this? Because I know, I, I know you're usually not running anything with vocals, but how did you feel about latency of it? Um, how, is there enough, does AUM have enough uh, uh, CPU bar? Does it tell you how much CPU you've taken up? If so, how many? How, what, what was the DSP, the resources that it was taking up with that many instances running? I mean, this thing sounds nice. It's, it, it, I can just hear the different genres on the same loop with the style of these racks. I apologize for that one. It's a little loud. Check one, two, check one, two. Let's see. So what, what are y'all thoughts on it so far?
We all, we all need guitar lessons, Jamie. <laughs> you got a YouTube series of, of how to play guitar? We need that. But thank you for joining. I appreciate it. We've got piano. On a lazy. That is insane. It's just took an organ. It just took a regular piano and really made it sound like an organ. That's nuts. So what do y'all think? I couldn't wait for it to be finally Welcome back, BG White. And this, this right here is what I love so much about the LA two-way. So I'm going I'm to go back and just, how do I reset this? Okay. So she's not peaking or nothing like that, but watch the peak. Let me turn her, turn her down for one second. Watch the peak reduction as I run this vocal. This is what I would do in a session is for them crazy highs, I would slam it with the peak reduction. And look how natural the, the LA two-way still is able to maintain it.
just control. Now, this is an extreme example. For it to be finally over, they're gonna turn me Just back to stone. full control over the vocal so that it always is in the right place with the mix. And when you have it compressed right, it's so much easier to shape it going forward. It's gonna translate, in my experience, it translates really good in different environments from AirPods to the car to the TV. You know, it's just. All the places we listen it to music. It doesn't mean that much to me. It's an illusion. I'll be on board the train for... The fighting's over now. On a lazy summertime day With soft winds Blow all her fears away Then the distant sound of thunder Reminds her Oh, it's just a breath away On a lazy That is... Let's, let's hear what it sounds. How, is there a way to move it away from not being on the rack? How do I go back to just nothing real quick? It's funny how that sounds. Yeah, initialize. Initialize. What did this sound like dry? Summer day Where soft winds Blow all her fears away then the distant sound of thunder reminds her, oh, it's just a breath away. That is insane. On a lazy <laughs> summer. That's insane. That's insane how it's able to transform that performance like that. That's, that's crazy. And. That's half the battle is having all these presets, right? Now you can just go in and you don't even have to think about it. You just set it in, forget it, and kind of tweak it as you go. Let's see, this is an 80s rap verse. Day where soft winds blow all her fears away. Then the distant sound of thunder. Reminds her Oh, it's just a breath away On a laser Yeah, the delays are really nice, too. Wow. That's fire. Okay. Not bad for $40. I've, I've wasted $40 in, wor in worse ways than this. This is insane. BG White says amazing. Jersey Boy Music says reminds me of Slate plugins exactly, but on iOS. Yes, yes. Breakline says game changer. Russ says not my cup of tea for my mute. Not my cup of tea for my music, but nice. BG White says that's crazy. Bungle Bungle says would like to hear the tape emulation effect if possible. No problem. What would you like to hear it on? Would you like to hear it on the vocal? Would you like to hear it on an instrument? I'll, I'll go through the different audio demo options we have here. We have bass, we have good, we have drums, we have guitar, we have piano, and we have vocals. So, bungle bungle, what would you like to hear that effect on? I know the chat's a little delayed for me, so I'll wait a second while you let me know. Full a full song. Um. So like on the master bus? I don't have any full songs I can demo it on currently. 
I'm just in the standalone app. But if you want to hear it on a specific uh, type of, yeah, if you want to hear it on a specific type of source, let me let me see real quick. A full song with vocals or or just a beat. Or piano. Yeah, Master Bus. Yeah, I'll, have the, I'll try to put it on a Master Bus at a later time. I don't have anything pre-prepared. This is just kind of uh, on plan live. Or piano, guitar, if no full songs. Okay, let's get a guitar loop going here. Now, do you, so um, can you remind me of what that effect is that you want to hear exactly? Uh because I'm assuming it's not a preset. It's just an individual rack effect. Which which rack effect was it? Let's see. Tape, tape, tape emulation. Is that tape cassette or is there? I know there's a few things that mention tape on here. So is it ta is it under the saturation one or was it something else? Tape cassette will do. All right, let's cue up tape cassette here and So right now it's not engaged and I'm about to engage it. So real quick, Bongo Bongo, as I'm playing this through, you can tell me what knobs you want me to turn and things like that to kind of get a better idea of what it is you're looking to discover with this uh, rack. And I'll just turn the knobs. That's uh, bypassed. I have a feeling with this kind of plugin, this this specific effect, you really hear it after you uh, put it on a lot of individual tracks as a result of the entire mix. This doesn't give me the impression that it's really dramatic on a single source, but when you want to shape a feel of a whole instrumental and you put a little bit of it on each, I think you really start to feel the effect. 10 o'clock kind of setting on the dials, 10 o'clock. Okay. Nah, don't worry about spamming the chat. It's all good. It's all good. That's what we're here for.
what up joshua good sounds good hi everyone appreciate it how you doing bro uh bongo bongo says yeah i think it would give a whole song a feeling it was recorded on a tape machine like it sounds good yeah and and, and that's the thing i think uh if i go back and i remember correctly i want to say slate digital had a tape machine not tape machine but yeah i guess so kind of tape machine but you would put a little bit of it on every single track and then there was a master one that kind of controlled like they all got routed into not to say this is that but that was kind of the that was kind of the the concept um was e each one gets a little bit of the tape and eventually over the course of a whole mix it sounds different that guy smitty says run some drums through the tape you may get a more pronounced effect okay let's try it out okay i hear the difference already that's this is dry right here so it's still dry and now at the 10 o'clock setting bypassed enabled Wow. Yeah, it it definitely I can hear it. It's really pronounced on the drums. That's a good call. That was a very good call. All those hard transients make it easier to hear what's going on. Yeah, you're absolutely right. is disabled or bypassed. Now it's enabled. Bypassed again. Yeah, you're able to really capture vibe and energy, and that's that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. Nino Beat says, "I'm buying this ASAP." Thanks, fam. Oh no doubt. Yeah, this is this is nice. Oh, <laughs> I came old time media. Hey, this thing looks nice. That tape cassette is one of our guy Ryan's favorites. 
What up, IK Multimedia? How are y'all doing? It's nice to have y'all in the building. That guy, Smitty, says, sounds like a proper tape emulation to me, too. I mean, excuse me. Sounds like a proper tape emulation to me. I meant to say, yes, me, too. I agree with you all the way. Bungo Bongo says, takes a bit of top end away, too. You know, Beat says, that vocal chain was crazy. Yes, all the vibes you can capture so easily. This this is going to take iOS music production to the stars and back. This is this is crazy. I could see real hit songs. I could before, but now this just took it over the top. Now there's really no excuse. You used to have to be a little bit creative to try to make it work. I think this is just an easy button all the way around. I don't want to butcher your name. It's probably because there's no capitals on YouTube. Jab Jabarin. Jabarin the Ben Jabarin the Benz. Is that what it is? Jabarin the Benz. I caught this after your first video. Yeah, yeah. It's a must-have situation. What are your thoughts on the $40 price point? You got IK multimedia in the building. Let them know your thoughts on it. How do you feel about it? I feel like $40 is very, very, very nice and fair. I think it's actually a super steal. I feel like they were quite charitable for giving it to us at that price. This thing is pretty incredible, though, overall. And shouts out to IK Multimedia because they've been the trailblazer for mobile music for a long time now. They had the uh, some of the first hardware to really embrace iOS and things like that and I mean, it's crazy how far, you know, the iOS has come now. Now it just works with anything. But that really wasn't the case before. And I came Multimedia was on the front lines really, you know, taking some chances out here to bring us some hardware and equipment that would work with iOS before everything was so neat with the USB-Cs and the, you know, things like that. They, they had some proprietary stuff out the gate. Let's see, 730 Productions LLC says... This just officially made my iPad a mobile production studio standalone. All I need now is a great mic for my iPad and a mic stand. That is a fact. And you can get a really good mic, a good sounding mic for not too much money either. I mean, crazy times we live in. I can multimedia says, thanks for the kind words. Absolutely. Well deserved. Thank you for the kind gesture of developing this app for iOS. I know. That probably wasn't an easy decision to decide to let all this go for this price, but we really appreciate it. BG White says, glad I had glad, excuse me, glad I got it before it goes up. It's worth it. Bungo Bongo says, price is good. That guy Smitty says, great price for the quality and amount of effects you get. Jabari in the bin says, I feel $40 is fair comparison to the other plugins. I came up to many says, I know there is an interest in an iPhone version. I have relayed this to the team, but we don't have current plans for that at this time. There are challenges there. I imagine that's not going to be an easy port, especially with these racks being what they are. I don't know if the solution then becomes limited to less racks, but, you know, how do you really scale that? And then there's so many different phone sizes. Yeah, that could that could get complicated. And then the knobs and things like that that are tactile. How do you figure out how to make those really work on an iPhone? And there's not really mouse support on an iPhone like there is on an iPad. Like right now, I'm using a mouse on this iPad. So when I don't want to touch the screen, I can just do that. iPhone version of this could be tough. I could actually really see a justification for it being iPad only. But it would be nice if we were able to get on iPhone also. Bongo Bongo says, I use Amplitude all the time. Has the best uni vibe emulation i've ever used you know b says what's a good mic for this app um any 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 mic these days any depends on your application is it for vocals is it for instrument are you you know what, what would be your application love using echo opera says love using this app in aum for my workflow yeah i gotta check out a lot of what you are running this through, because I'm, I'm really fascinated with how you were able to get five instances and things like that. And 
I'm, I'm curious on how your music is going to sound now with this app because I think it just opens up. A, it's like almost like a new instrument or something. It for it gets you in such a new space creatively where you make decisions you might not have made before. So I'm gonna definitely check out some of your instrumentals with this app. Ike Multimedia says, for those who said it's like X plugin on iPad. Note we make mix box for Mac and PC. That is a fact. And it is 299 euros last I checked. I think I got that correct. Um, so quite quite a quite a difference. Echo Hopper says, just keep it on the iPad. Yeah, that might be the best way to go about it versus trying to take all the resources to develop it for the iPhone. Jabari in the bin says, I want to see how taxing it is on my processor using several channels to do an actual mix on iOS. I think you're going to be good on a, on a mix. I think the only place you might run into issues is when you're trying to do real-time um, recording, you know, low-latency recording. But I think if you could slam the buffer up to, how does the buffer go up on iOS? Like maybe 2048. If you can get the buffer up that high, I think you'll be fine. And then the fact is you can, you know, you got eight uh, racks per uh, instance. I think you I think you've got a lot of I think you got a lot of a um, lot of potential there. What iPad are you uh, running Jabari in the bins? I got Smitty says, I hope I can afford to get it before the price goes up to normal. I just dropped a grip on Christmas stuff for the wife and kids. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. That would be my only thing is I wish this was uh, announced before Black Friday. But, you know, it's it's definitely it's definitely I'm glad it's here overall. 730 Productions LLC. Watch how many companies now jump on this for iPad. IK just put the stamp on iPad. Yeah, and they've been doing that for a while. They're always early. They're always early. They're always there taking the chance. They're always on the front line. That's why I really like them as a company. When they came out with that Oregon app, it was kind of controversial that it was $100, but I like their stance on it. So I went and bought it. And I don't think I do too much organ based music. Obviously, I'm no pianist or organ player or whatever, but I had to get it just to support the fact that they gave us that pro level organ on iOS. Um, Nino B says, This is just what I need for a great vocal chain. Yep, exactly. Excuse me, exactly. Echo Opera says, for what it's worth, I had 15 effects via five racks running on my iPad Pro 2018 in AUM and CPU was around 70%. Take notes, take notes. That's, that's huge. It's a huge accomplishment. Henny will be over this. I think so. Nino beats for vocals. Um... D DM me. We'll, we'll talk. We'll talk about some potential setups. I got some ideas for you. Echo Opera says, yeah, it is. Okay. Ripping a hole in fabric of space time with it. Definitely. That guy Smith says, Echo Opera is that guy for throwing down jams in AUM. That is a fact. I can multimedia says on audio bus forms. They have some good experience with the CPU usage with different iPad models. If people want to check there also. It's IK Multimedia. Will it work? Oh, you're asking IK Multimedia. Will it work on the uh, Mac M1 chips? What about checking out some vintage sounding space delay? Okay, tell me what you want. Uh, bungle bungle. Tell me what you want me to apply that to. What 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 instrument or or um, if you wanted to do on a vocal track, and we'll run through some of the uh, some of the delays. Echo Opera says, really looking forward to some custom rack presets for your fans. <laughs> All right. When I get up and running with it, I'll definitely be coming up with some rack presets. I'm going to figure something out. I think, yeah, I'm going to come up with some with some trap with some trap uh, presets. I think that will really set this off. I can multimedia says, at this time, we don't have news on this and other apps working with M1. We do have Mixbox on i Mac, excuse me on Mac OS already running. I don't want to butcher your name here, Clant Gan Tree Clant. I can't I can't pronounce it. I apologize. Thank you very much for your hard work and your great videos. Your Black Friday videos cost me some money. Keep on making great videos. Cheers, D from Germany. Shouts out to you, D from Germany. I appreciate you uh, checking out the videos. I'm sorry that we cost you so much money. We just wanted to get every possible sale that we could find so that everybody would be well-informed going into the Black Friday sales and kind of map out um, 
some things that were on a list that they wanted a long time ago. Maybe they could take advantage of it on that day. I came out to media says Hammond B3X was made to be authentic. And yes, we realize it may serve really diehard Hammond B3 players and carry a premium price due to that. But we did stand by that. And it is a great tool for some. I completely agree with you. That's why I bought it. I liked how y'all stood by that. I liked how bold the move was. I thought it was a show of faith in the platform and faith in the user base that it would be uh, purchased and supported. So I wanted to make sure we were among that, that we're um, kind of trying to encourage you to keep porting those great apps over. And I'm glad you did it with this one. I came out time media. That guy Smitty says, is there a Roland 201 space echo emulation? Um, I'll be honest, I don't have all the racks in front of me, so I'm not for sure personally. Is Bungle Bongo still here? He wanted to check out some space delays, but I want to know what he wants to run them through. Okay, let's... And I came out media. It was really smart of y'all to put these audio demos in here because this just really helps to understand what exactly it's doing. Let's take the tape to set off of this. And let's pick a rack. So real quick, I came out to media while while I have you in here. These things that are specifically um, sins and inserts, I, I think it, the question probably answers itself, but I just want to be clear when I'm speaking on this in the future. These are intended to be used on a send channel and then have the channels funneled through that. Is that the idea behind these presets? So they're a little exaggerated and then you can go ahead and control how much um, you want to apply to whatever track through the uh, sin levels within your DAW? Was that the purpose of the sin presets here? I'm not going to lie, I've got Opera. This is really the first time I've opened this app up and actually used it on stand. Oh, look at that. Wow. Okay, real quick, I want to address what IK uh, Multimedia said in response to my question. It says, yes, basically use inserts where you have the dry signal present and sends 100% wet as sends typically would be used. Okay, that's a, that is so cool. We've got send presets too. This is this is nuts. Okay, I want to check out this. This is unreal. You can dial in how much dry and wet from each rack. I'm not a mathematician, but I would guess there's literally probably a billion or a trillion different combinations you can run with something like this. Eight racks, 70 possibilities, wet, dry, all the, man, you can there's probably a trillion different possibilities you could run with these racks. This is nuts. Oh, 
I see I was already adjusting it. I, I missed it at Go Opera. I did not I did not get to save it in, in whatever state it was in when you sent that. Dang. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the settings and see how it all lines up. Inserts and sends were included to make sure we covered every pro set of mixing, sound design, etc. type of tool set. I came multimedia just type that 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 we are very appreciative of that that's it's serious I did not expect that I have presets that reflect both the insert and the sin what up mobile music pro how are you doing what up Jamie welcome back and I have to say this is one of the nicest looking products we make yeah I would agree I came multimedia I come back from the t the original t-rex days way 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 back this thing is is gorgeous this is really nice. Echo Opera says it's so tactile and inviting to use. It really is. It really is. It, it, it's like it inspires creativity within your creativity. The fact that you can really take so many different sounds and make them other sounds, even though they're the same sound, is, is crazy. So what I really liked here, I was playing this piano. And let me go to the different piano settings real quick. Let me initialize this. All right, so that's just it initialized. Real quick, are these... um? IK Multimedia or Echo Opera, are the parameters MIDI mappable? The knobs, things like that, all the different parameters of the app, are they MIDI mappable? This is what trips me out. Look at look at this sound like an organ this rotary this is the um so the rotary app is mainly the one responsible for uh, making it kind of transform into an organ sound. It's, it's incredible. It's so accurate. You would, you know, if you played it like in an organ style, you really could turn it from a piano to an organ and no one would know it was originally a piano. Okay, Echo Opera says, in AUM they should be answering my MIDI question since they are exposed. So the parameters are exposed in AUM, so you should be able to uh, control them with MIDI or automate them. That's pretty cool. Jamie says, I need to do some videos with this. This would really work well on my channel. I agree. I'd really like to hear what you come up with with it. I think it, I think it would just... It's going to sound crazy. It's your live playing, running through this. Okay. That guy Smitty says, damn, that rotary is fire. Yeah, nuts, right? I came to media says, 2021 should be an amazing year for iOS music and specifically from us too. If this is any indication of things to come, I agree with you 1000%. I think it will be the year of iOS for sure. Echo Opera says, I came out to media. I hope a future update will include the name of the parameter that is loaded. Right now, it's just a generic term parameter, so a bit of struggle to know what knob I am turning. 
I agree. I agree. Yeah, if we could have those parameters mapped out and be able to control them via MIDI, I can just imagine for live performances and things like that, that would be insane. In Mobile Music Pro, asked IK Multimedia when Amplitude and Sample Tank are coming to AUV3. And IK Multimedia responded, let us get Amplitude 5 out and we'll go from there. And we're pushing both of those internally, so hopefully it won't be too long. Okay, that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. That is insane. The vibe just completely changed from that preset. stop shop for all effects says mobile music pro i agree 100 730 productions llc says jesus that is gorgeous i agree this is this is crazy let's let me initialize it again i mean it's a it's a nice riff i think it would sound good you know in a bunch of different tracks but set a whole nother vibe when you put that preset on it. <laughs> Echo Opera says, iPad me make it add some voice sing. <laughs> I gotta get I gotta get audio tuned out in order to do the singing. I can't just sing like that. I don't have a I don't have a good voice. I gotta use the audio tune app. Uh, Nino Beat says we need an iLoud sub, please. That's a good point. That's a very good point, actually. Yeah. Now, Nino Beats, are you wanting an iLoud sub for the smaller speakers or their larger offering? I think they've got um, the smaller ones that are like $2.99 and then they've got the more expensive ones. Which one would you want to sub for? You want to sub for each family or is there one specifically that you want to sub for? <laughs> Clover says, come on, give us those shots. <laughs> nah, not today. I got to keep my voice pristine to do the news. Let's see, let's go, let's go for some vocals. I'll let them sing. On a lazy summer day Where soft winds Blow all her fears away Then the dim 
distant sound of thunder reminds her. Oh, it's just a breath away on a lazy summer day where soft winds blow all of her fears away. Then the distant sound of thunder. Okay, Multimedia says. There's some Lena nice. Yes, Lena with the vocals. And, and they also say, we have some really good go-to presets, but try white 2A on some of the other vintage model stuff on, and some of the other vintage model stuff on vocals. I've been trying to tell people about this LA 2A. It, it, it's, man, whew, it's the way to go, especially on vocals. Absolute go-to. Reminds her, oh, it's just a breath away on a lazy summer day where soft winds blow all her fears away. Then the distant sound of thunder reminds her oh it's just a when i hit the when i when i hit the side chain i just get my interface i think cuz i'm in um standalone right now and all I need yeah so i'm only getting the m4 but i think if i was in I think if I was in a DAW, I would be able to get more sidechain options. Unfortunately, I'm not able to really demonstrate the sidechain right now. In me, this haunting melody plays on and on. And all I need is so Now, I want to say this before anyone who says, feels that way now or watches the playback. The, the little distortion we're getting between trying out the presets, usually you want to stop and then apply the preset and then push play. This isn't about the app's efficiency or things like that. It's just how it goes when you're demoing plugins and not push and stop. This is what tons of plugins do. We deal with this on desktop all the time. So this is not a reflection of the app at all when you hear the distortion between the um, different preset changes going on. Real quick, I came out Media, if y'all are still in the building. Um, do you know how long the intro price is going to last? Jamie would like to know. We would all like to know. A lot of people are planning their holidays, things like that. So knowing already how long that intro price is going to last would be very helpful to many of us who have to get gifts for other people. And all I need is someone to believe in me. This haunting melody plays on and on. And all I need is someone to believe in me. This I want y'all to notice how this white 2A is just finding itself on all of these vocal presets, though. It really is, you know, one of the king compressors for vocals, in my opinion. So it's really nice to see that the presets incorporate that because I love to see the LA-2A on the chain for vocals, for sure. All I need is someone to believe in me. This on and on
Even though this is the male EDM setting, I think it sounds pretty good on her. Just play some, play this in the background while I go through some of these uh, live chat comments. Okay, Echo Opera caught the Octo Pre, focus right. Congratulations, how are you liking it? Um, <laughs> mixed box or a case of eggnog for Christmas? Is there any doubt? <laughs> I came multimedia says no pub no public end date at this time though typically when a product is released there is only a short window for the pricing i would suggest if interested jumping in a s a p so there y'all have it there is no definitive end date to the sale at this time that's publicly announced but if you are interested in this and want to take advantage sooner than later would be ideal for your pockets Okay, Multimedia also said, oh, Mobile Muse Pro said, yep, 2A for life. No doubt, bro, that is a fact. That's me responding. No doubt, bro, that is a fact. I can Multimedia, the distortion while switching precepts will mainly happen with chains that use heavier effects like Convo Room. Understood. Definitely. It, I, want, I just want everyone to know that that's not a reflection on the app, things like that. It's normal. So don't feel like when you hear it and it, you hear that jump out that that means that the app is doing anything abnormal. That's just how it goes. Okay. Since it has to load, keep loading. Yeah. Okay. Um, gave me a lot of insight and things to think about. It says Echo Opera. iPad B making gave me a lot of insight and things to think about. Definitely. Um... Ike Multimedia says, try some of those synth presets on the piano if you have time. I definitely have time. We're gonna We're gonna we're gonna try that out now. Let's see. Let me see if there's a piano that's not as busy. So this is dry, and this is the art filter coming in now. There it is, okay, it's getting synthy. Bypass this and see what it sounds like. Now it's enabled again. About to disable.
you see a different piano this one's already kind of got a low five vibe to it okay that's clean that's bypassed Now that doesn't sound like it ever was a piano. This is crazy. This thing will really give you goosebumps. And I can imagine, too, that for a lot of people, they would be taking a like a preset patch that they're going to play um, and applying this before they record it. You know what I mean? And then really building the track around what it sounds like after it's record um, after it's been ran through these racks. This is bypassed. So that's slicing it. So if you played something with a slicer in mind, it definitely give you a really cool vibe. This is this is this is crazy. Real quick, I'm gonna turn this down. I just want to go through the chat real quick. Let's see. 730 Productions LSC says, I'm ready to tell my wife, send me 50 bucks today and I'll give it back tomorrow when I get paid. This here is crazy. Oh my God, that's beautiful. That's wifey. She's definitely going to send you the 50 bucks. She understands the mission and IK Multimedia Mix Box is now a part of it, you know? So I'm sure she will definitely support you grabbing this for that $40. Tell her why should it cost you more money later when you can get it for $40 today. I don't want to bush your name. Is it Emil, Emil or Emil 333 official? That's definitely awesome. AUM is great to work with when it comes to multi-channel. BG White says, I can't wait to play with this when I get off work. I appreciate you and Echo Opera being on and multitasking with your Zoom calls and things like that. Thank you so much for tuning in with us and participating in the stream. Echo Multimedia says, you can go lo-fi with some of the lo-fi presets in the synth category, like the boards of Italy, Italy you are using in others. 
730 production says any recommendations on a great mobile interface for the ipad uh what's your budget i have quite a few um ikimoto media says there's some seriously gnarly lo-fi stuff you can do with mix box absolutely I'm, I'm seeing it this is insane 730 production says whoa newbie says wow 730 production says 80s jamie says amazing i came multimedia says can turn a piano into different styles of e-piano for sure i yeah, for sure or do that Hornsby type of thing. BG White says this is going to allow for some seriously unique or signature sound design. That is a fact. You can really shape your own sound with this. I'm 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 feeling like album ready when I'm hearing these things. I'm like I can finally completely on an iPad get some of the unique things to build albums and and not just make beats, you know, and not just kind of do little scratch takes. You could, it feels like you could really sink into an album with these kind of presets and effects and racks and things like that, giving you constant inspiration to keep going. You can shape an entire sound of a project with something like this. You can plan it from the beginning that you want it to sound a certain way, and this can capture the vibe. It's pretty crazy. Ike Multimedia says, you're hired. Well, DM me. <laughs> Let me know where I need to go. Emil says, you can pronounce my name as Emil. Okay. Ike Multimedia says, yes, thanks to everybody in the iPad beat making. It's always hard to find the right time to reach the most people with live stream nowadays. That is a fact. It's very tough. I didn't expect for this one to do quite this well. I just wanted to see what it you know kind of sounded like and i know a lot of people who contemplate and getting it so i want to give them an opportunity to ask questions and check it out does main says is daz main says is there a clipper plugin in this bundle echo opera says save those racks 730 production llc says christmas deals are coming no budget up oh, russ is getting one over y'all okay 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 we, we might convert him to the uh, mix box after all. He initially felt it wasn't necessarily applicable to his workflow and his needs, but after hearing some of the presets, he's feeling like he might change his mind. He said he just used a vocalist from Fiverr. Yeah, imagine putting her on these presets. That would be a win. It's going to sound pro out the gate. You will really get your five. You will get your forty-five dollars worth. You get your five dollars worth from the singer, but running them through this app, you're gonna get crazy sound. Um, to answer your question, Daz Main, is there a Clipper plugin in this bundle? I want to say yes. I want to say yes. There is. Let me see real quick. We can find a clipper. Toss in some fat 808s and crush them. I will do that. I will do that on a, on a legit video. I will put some 808s on this stuff. You know what? I'll go into... I don't really have any 808s right now. Pull it up. Let's see if we can go. See, this isn't an 808, this is... I'm going to ask someone for a bit of money. I'm a bit short on cash right now, and I can't let this deal go away, says Emil. Yes, go ask them. It's a must-have situation. I feel like I'm a QVC host or something right now, but this thing is incredible. It's really worth jumping on. 730 Production says, I have T-Rex on my Mac and use that in standalone once I mix in my DAW. 
this here just made it even more real away from my computer. Absolutely. Echo Opera says, I can't wait to hear what you do with this and some trap. Yeah, me too. Looking forward to it. No 808s on hand. Forget it. You're fired. Oh, I got plenty of 808s. I invented the 808 engine. We, we, we got plenty of those. I just don't have them queued up, but let's see what we can do. Uh, let's solo them, though. That's crazy. Alright. Nothing special, but we'll just start there and... Let's loop that. Actually, let's get the effect on first. Audio effect. I've never seen what this looks like in Nano Studio. This is going to be interesting. Mix box. Okay. Actually, I think there's an 808 preset already in here. So that's bypassed. That's enabled. Sounds like it's got some SL, SSL compression right there. I guess that's what I'm looking at with this bus comp. Okay, I was a little worried about the scaling in this view, but that's just Nano Studio 2. And when you hit this, now the scaling looks fine. It's a little letterboxed on the side, but that's to be expected. Well, that's a good compliment. Okay. sound through that and let's see so yeah pretty cool pretty pretty cool 808 sounds crazy right now but yeah just just seeing what it sounds like on a couple of them um I can hold it. it says, there you go, redeemed. Okay, I got my job back. Thank you. Echo Opera says, this is going to sound awesome. Thank you, sir. Uh, John Brown says, special financing for the iOS music professional. <laughs> Emil says, ha, huh, it's currently an incredible app from what I hear from you now. I can multimedia says, thank you, iPad beat making. I didn't even know this was happening until I saw the link on AB, so I know we didn't make you do this, Mr. QVC host. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I got it. I got to do it for the community. This is huge. This is big. This is big news. I think everyone deserves an opportunity to see what's possible and hopefully um, apply this to the workflow. I think it is going to result in a lot better mixes and music overall. Glad you did it. This is a great thank you. This is this is great. Thank you and thanks for all the questions, folks. Thank you, IK Multimedia. Appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for releasing this. Echo Opera says, sick, thank you. Now modulate that man oh man. I know, right? When I really get the time to just settle with this, it's 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 gonna be crazy. Emil says, I see that this app is already number two in the top charts in my country. Yeah, we need to get it to number one. This is an incredible app. Brian, the one hand producer, more bot right now. P Bravo says, heading to the app store. P Bravo, I gotta hear what you are able to come up with using this app. I'm 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 knowing you're gonna snap. And so that's the that's the 808. When I get time, I'm probably come up with some 808 presets and things like that. 
to really um, set it off, but that's just running through a couple presets with a random 808 pattern that probably didn't even bounce right. Yeah, mm -mm. so I just only imagine what's gonna be possible when you really take the time to do it right. Brian, the one hand producer more says, and I might buy the Mac version for continuity. That, you know what would be interesting is if you did something and say like Zen Beats, right? And you use the iPad version of it in Zen Beats and then you loaded that same session on your Mac. If in fact it would like cross over properly. I know FabFilter plugins do it. I know Tone Boosters plugins do it, but there's certain other plugins that don't actually port properly from one to another when you're opening a session on a multi-platform DAW like a Zen Beats. But I wonder if this one would. That would be really cool, actually. You would have no limits. <laughs> you should have a glass with some ice and it would play in that piano. <laughs> Now, before I get up out of here, is there anything else y'all want to hear? Any other examples, um, effects, uh, sounds you want to hear ran through the rack, anything like that? I can Multimedia says you can transfer presets from iPad to Mac PC via AirDrop or email, all types, rack, module, song. So that's good news. They do talk to each other, or excuse me, the formats are similar enough to where if you take one, it'll work in the other and things like that. That's going to be very useful. Oh, no, I'm not going to sing 730 Productions. Not, not right now. I got to cue up the, the audio tune. So does anyone else have any questions for IK Multimedia while they're here and you have an opportunity to ask them some things? We know that it's $40. It's 33% off right now. We don't know when that price is going to jump. They're saying you should jump on it sooner than later, though, because it will eventually go up. Their um, presets will work between platforms, between iPad and Mac. You can airdrop them or save them from one to the other. And we do not currently have a window of time for sample tank being AUV3, I believe, but they are definitely working hard on getting some more ports done, it sounds like. And this does not appear to right now um, going to make an App Store appearance in the iPhone App Store. It will be iPad only for the time being. Maybe one day we get a port that's universal or that's for iPhone specifically, but as it stands right now, this is strictly iPad. Echo Opera says, thanks for all the good you do for the community, sir. Hope you have a blessed Christmas and New Year's season. Thank you so much, Echo Opera. I appreciate it. I wish the same to you. Thank you for all you do in the community as well. You have some very great videos, very vibey stuff. You really are pushing the envelope on what's possible on iOS music production. So thank you so much, Echo Opera as well. Jay says, what iPad are you using? This iPad here is a 2018 iPad Pro. I want to say it's the 256 model. Um, Echo Opera says, what other effects in AUV3 are coming from IK Multimedia? Yes, IK Multimedia, if you are able to, can you please let us know what other effects uh, in the AEV3 format are coming? P Bravo says, just bought it, but I need to finish this video first before I dive in. Thanks for demoing. Definitely, bro. I know you're going to come up with some incredible stuff with it. Um, I can't wait to check it out. I can't wait to take it, check it out. I think you're going to come you're going to bring a trap flavor to it. I'm sure, which is going to be fire. I came out to media says at Echo Opera, we don't have public announcements, but look for more in 2021.
IK Multimedia says, I vote for all of them and can bother the ILS at product manager as much as possible for you. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for really uh, lobbying on our behalf to have some of these incredible apps be on iOS. We need them. We're very appreciative of that. Emil says, stay safe and healthy, everyone. You as well. Definitely uh, wash your hands and, you know, respect your local guidelines and blessings to any of those affected by the situation this year. This is a it's been a really nice, you know, um, fourth quarter of the year where we've got these great Black Friday sales. And now we've got this pretty cool stuff. Any more questions for myself or I came multimedia or any other demos you would like to see other than me singing please let me know now in the chat vibe of that is crazy from sounding like something on stage in a in a in a really nice um environment to just having like a grimy sheen to it like this sounds real dark real uh northeast in the winter time y'all to know i really appreciate y'all hopping on the live stream with me um thank you so much i know a lot of y'all were multitasking for a lot of us this is the middle of the day and things like that so you had to pick between doing your zoom calls or watching this and some of you chose to do both so appreciate it very much IK Multimedia for popping in and answering some questions for us. like the video if you enjoyed it 
uh, the stream if you enjoyed it. Be sure to follow IK Multimedia on their social medias. I think it's just IK Multimedia. It might not be, but check them out. Support them. And definitely follow iPad Beatmaking on Twitter and Instagram. And if you're not currently subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the latest. I've got to get started on the news. Appreciate y'all being here. I'm going to wind it down. Thank you.